In this video, we're going to see how we can expand multiple brackets. And what I mean by that is when we have two bracketed expressions and we want to multiply them together. In algebra, when we have two things next to each other, it means we're multiplying them together. And the way we do it is just to have each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So each thing in first bracket multiplied by each in the second. So we want all combinations of things where we choose one thing from the first bracket and one thing from the second. So for example, we could do the first term times the first term. So that's one combination. And if we do x times x, that gives us x squared. Another combination is to do the first thing from the bracket and let's choose the second thing from the second bracket. So we've got x times 1, which is just plus 1x or just x. Uh, now let's do the second thing from the first bracket times the first thing from the second bracket. That's another combination. 5 times x is 5x. And finally we've got the second thing from the first bracket times the second thing from the second. 5 times 1 is 5 and we get that. Now this can be simplified, we can collect like terms. Is there anything the x squared can collect with? Well no, there's no other x squared term, so that just stays as it is. Can we collect this plus x term with anything? Well yes, we've got another x term here, we've got 1x plus 5x, that's plus 6x, 1 plus 5 is 6. And finally, we've just got this number term here that doesn't collect with anything else, we got plus 5. So just to summarize, we do each thing from the first bracket times each from the second, and one easy way to do it is just keep your thing on the first thing, we've got the x, and times it by each of the things in the second bracket, so the x times the x, and the x times the one, and then you move your first thing along. So we then got five times the x, and five times the one. Let's do some more examples. So we've got x plus 4 times x minus 2. So we do each thing from the first bracket times each from the second. So let's put our thing on here first. So we do that first term there, the x, times this thing here. So we've got the x times the x, which is x squared. And then move our second thing along. We've also got the x times the minus 2. That's minus 2x. And now we've done the first thing here times each of the things in the second bracket. So now we can move our first thing along to do the 4 times each of the things in the second bracket. So we've then got the 4 times the x, which is plus 4x. And we've got the 4 times the minus 2, that's minus 8. And then let's just collect like terms again. The x squared doesn't collect with anything, so it's just x squared. But the minus 2x collects with the plus 4x. Minus 2 plus 4 is plus 2, so it's plus 2x. And then we finally got this minus 8. So that is the expanded and simplified expression. Let's do another example. We've got 2x plus y multiplied by 2x plus 1. So we do the 2x times each of these things. So we've got 2x times 2x. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, so it's going to be 4. And the x times the x is x squared. Now let's do the 2x times the 1. So 2x times 1 is just 2x. And now we've done the first thing times each of these. So we're now going to do the second thing times each of these. So we've got y times 2x, which is 2xy. And we've got the y times the 1 which is plus y. Now there's nothing that collects here because we've got an x squared term here, but there's nothing else which just has x squared. This x term doesn't collect with anything because that has an x and a y, and this y term is just a y, so that doesn't collect anything because there's nothing else with just y. So we just leave it as it is. We've expanded it, but we can't simplify it. Now let's do the third one. We've got x plus 5 squared. Now, if you have a bracket squared, an incorrect thing that many students would do is to square the x and to square the 5. So they think it's x squared plus 25. That's wrong. What we have to do is we have to say, well, it's x plus 5 times x plus 5. Because when you square something, it means you multiply it by itself. So it's x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 5. And please do explicitly write that out. And then we do exactly what we did before. So we do x times each of these things. So x times the x is x squared. And we do the x times the 5. That's 5x. And then we do the second term times each of these things. So we've got the 5 times the x. We've got another 5x. And we've got the 5 times the 5, which is plus 25. 
and then we can collect like terms. Uh, these two x terms collect together to give 10x. So we've got x squared plus 10x plus 25. Let's do another one. We've got 3m minus n squared. So as before, because we've got 3m minus n times by itself, so it's 3m minus n times 3m minus n. So we do 3m times 3m. So be very careful. It's not 3m squared. It's 9m squared because 3 times 3 is 9. We've then got the 3m times the minus n. So that's minus 3mn. We've now got the second term times each of these things. So we've got minus n times 3m, which is minus 3m again. And we've got the minus n times the minus n. Well, negative times negative is positive, so it's positive n squared, because n times n is n squared. And then we can collect like terms here. There's no other m squared terms, so we'll just leave that as it is. But look, we've got two mn terms. Now, minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6 mn. And then we've only got one n squared term, so we've got plus n squared. Now let's go on to some harder ones. This is harder because we've actually got three terms in the first bracket. And if your teacher's ever taught you something called FOIL, please forget it now because it doesn't work when you have more than two things in one bracket. But exactly the same principle applies. We do each thing the first bracket times each thing the second. So let's do the first thing here times each of these first. So we've got the P times the P first, which is P squared. And we've got the P times the Q, so that's PQ. Now we've done the first thing times each of these, so now we do the second thing times each of these. We got Q times P, which is plus PQ again. We got the Q times the Q, which is Q squared. And now finally we do the third thing times each of these things. So we got 1 times the P, which is P, and we got 1 times the Q, which is Q. Does anything collect here? The only like terms here are the PQ terms. So we collect those together, we got plus 2 lots of PQ and then nothing else is a like term because they're all different combinations of variables. So we get that, and that is the final answer. Let's do one where we have three brackets now, and this is new to the new GCC syllabus. And the way we do this is we first expand and simplify to the bracket. So I'm just going to do these two brackets. I'm going to expand and simplify those first. So we'll leave the x plus 2 as it is for the moment. But what we're going to do is we're going to expand and simplify these two brackets. So we've got the x times the x, which is x squared. We've got the x times the minus 3, which is minus 3x. We've got the 1 times the x, which is plus 1x. And we've got the 1 times the minus 3, which is minus 3. Now, I highly advise simplifying this now. So we've got x squared. Well, what's minus 3 plus 1? Well, that's minus 2. So we have minus 2x. That collects to give that. And we've still got minus 3 here. And now we've got two brackets. So this looks more similar to what we had in question five. So let's do what we did before. We do x times each of these things. So we've got x times the x squared, which is x cubed. We've got x times the minus 2x, which is minus 2x squared. We've got x times minus 3, which is minus 3x. And now we do the 2 times each of these. So we've got 2 times x squared plus 2x squared. We've got the 2 times the minus 2x, which is minus 4x. And we've got the 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6. And then can we collect any like terms? Well, x cubed, nothing collects with that. Uh, however, we've got the minus 2x squared and we've got the plus 2x squared. They cancel out, don't they? We also have minus 3x minus 4x. That's minus 7x. And then finally, we've got the minus 6 at the end. And that is the final answer. Just a few more. I want to do a plus b squared minus a minus b squared. Now, let's write out the brackets twice because that's what squared means. So we've got a plus b times a plus b minus a minus b times itself, a minus b. Now, expand this out as normal. So we've got a times the a, which is a squared. We've got a times the b, which is plus ab. We've got b times the a, which is ab, if we put them in alphabetical order. And b times b is plus b squared. Now, this is where you have to be very careful. If you ever expand an expression that you're subtracting, 
always leave it in a bracket first. So we're going to expand this and we're going to put in this bracket. So it's minus, minus, and then all of this, yeah? So let's expand this now. So we've got a times a, which is a squared. We've got a times minus b, which is minus ab. We've got minus b times a, which is minus ab again. And we've got minus b times minus b, negative times negative is positive, so plus b squared. Now let's just simplify a bit. We've got a squared, we've got two lots of ab, so it's plus two ab. And we've got the b squared there. And then I'm gonna still leave this bracket here just to be super safe. And then we've got a squared, we've got minus two ab. And we've still got that plus b squared here. Now this is where we can finally get rid of this bracket here. And what we do is we're subtracting each of the things in this bracket. So we're subtracting the a squared. We're also subtracting minus 2ab. But if we subtract a negative, we know that we add, don't we? So it's actually going to be plus 2ab. And that's the reason why we need these brackets, because if we didn't have that bracket, you would have probably just written minus a squared minus 2ab, which is wrong because it's actually plus 2ab. And then finally, we're subtracting b squared, so it's minus b squared. And then let's collect uh, any like terms. So we've got a squared minus a squared. Well, they just cancel. We've got 2ab plus 2ab, that's plus 4ab. And then finally, we've got b squared minus b squared. That just cancels again. So this whole thing just simplifies to 4ab. And just one more example before I give you some test to understanding questions. We've got 4 minus x plus 2, 2x minus 1. And with this one, and again, we're subtracting expression that's being expanded. So we do 4 minus and leave a big bracket here, and we're going to expand that safely into this bracket here. So we've got x times 2x, which is 2x squared. We've got x times minus 1, which is minus x. We've got 2 times 2x, which is plus 4x. And we've got 2 times minus 1, which is minus 2. And then again, just like before, we're going to subtract each of the things in this bracket. So we've got 4 We've got minus a 2x squared. We're subtracting minus x plus, which is plus x. We're subtracting 4x, which is minus 4x. And we're subtracting minus 2, which is plus 2. And then we can just simplify what we've got. So we've got 4, and we're, we can collect that with a plus 2, which is 6. We've got minus 2x squared, where there's no other x squared terms, so we just have that on its own, and then we've got x minus 4x, which is minus 3x. And just to mention that we could have simplified this before we expanded out this bracket here. It doesn't matter exactly the order you do that in. Now I've got these three final test your understanding questions. We, I want you to expand and where applicable simplify y minus 2 times y minus 3. I want you to expand 2y plus 1 times y minus 2 times y plus 2, and I want you to expand 3x plus 1 squared minus 3x minus 1 squared. So you may wish to stop the video now to have a go at these. Right, let's do the first one. So we do y times each of these terms. We've got the y times the y, which is y squared, the y times the minus 3, which is minus 3y. We've got the minus 2 times the y, which is minus 2y, and we've got the minus 2 times the minus 3, which is plus 6, because negative times negative is positive. And then we can collect these two terms here. So we've got minus 3y, minus 2y, that's minus 5y. So we've got y squared, minus 5y, and we've got the plus 6, and that is the final answer. We've got three brackets multiplied together. So let's first do this bracket times this bracket. So Let's leave the 2y plus 1 as it is. We're going to do y times y, which is y squared. We've got y times 2, which is 2y. We've got minus 2 times y, which is minus 2y. And we've got minus 2 times 2, which is minus 4. Let's just simplify that second bracket first. So we've got y squared. Well, 2y minus 2y, that just cancels. And then we've got this minus 4 here. And then we just expand out these two brackets in the normal way. So we've got 2y times y squared, which is 2y cubed. We've got 2y times minus 4, which is minus 8y. We've got 1 times y squared, which is plus y squared. And we've got 1 times minus 4, which is minus 4. And nothing collects there, so that is the final answer.
And finally, let's do this one. Well, as I've advised before, write out the bracket twice if it's ever squared. So we've got 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1, and then we're subtracting 3x minus 1 times 3x minus 1. Running out of space there. Right, so we've got 3x times 3x, that's 9x squared. 3x times 1 is plus 3x. We've got another plus 3x, and we've got plus 1. And then, as I advised before, if you're ever subtracting something that you're expanding, you need to put in a bracket. So we're subtracting all of this stuff expanded. So we've got 3x times 3x, which is 9x squared. We've got 3x times minus 1, which is minus 3x. Minus 1 times 3x, minus 3x again. And then we've got minus 1 times minus 1, which is plus 1. Sorry, that's a bit cramped. And then we can probably simplify first. So we've got 9x squared. 3x plus 3x is plus 6x. We've got the plus 1. And then we're subtracting. I'm leaving this bracket here for the moment. We've got the 9x squared. Minus 3x minus 3x is minus 6x. And we've still got that plus 1 there. And then let's deal with this bracket now. My We've got 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. And then we're subtracting 9x squared, so minus 9x squared. We're subtracting minus 6x, so that becomes positive 6x. And we're subtracting 1, so that's minus 1. Now let's see if anything simplifies or cancels. So we've got 9x squared minus 9x squared, that just disappears. We've got 6x plus 6x, which is 12x. And we've got 1 minus 1, which cancels again. So we just get 12x.